guys. I'm just telling you that I'm not crazy. You can see right here, I'm in um, one of the big shops here in town and fish market, and you can see here are puffer fish. Um, they actually do sell them in the market, so I've been telling you all along that they're good and safe here in North Carolina, but this is just a little proof. So if you're here in North Carolina and you come by uh, Sea Crab Company, uh, they actually do sell them here, and you can ask questions if you need to. All right, keep watching. All right, so I had to make a run in preparation for my trip tomorrow, so uh, this is my local sporting goods store. <laughs> just happens to be Walmart, so uh, I'll show you what I got here in a minute. All right, so about the stuff I picked up for my weekend of fishing, and I'm actually off next week, so I'm planning to fish quite a bit, so uh, hopefully you'll come by and see what's going on. Uh, but you can see here are some two ounce, I guess these are flat teardrop uh, type um, sinkers, and I like these because uh, the spot that I've been fishing some quite a bit lately is, you know, it has some current, and uh, it's a pretty sandy bottom, and I actually like the fact that when you cast it out, it actually drags it downstream a little bit because I think that actually it's almost like trolling you know as you get that action with your bait so that's working for me so I'm gonna continue to do that so that's why it's flat and that's why the two ounce another thing I picked up is some more um, laser sharp hooks here by Eagle Claw and I actually went up in size I went up to a 5 -0, and that's actually a pretty nice size hook and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm fishing with finger mullet they're pretty nice size baits and um, I have some that are frozen. If I'm lucky, I'll see some schools and I'll be able to cast and get some others. But I'm going up in hook size because I got quite a few bites when I was, if you checked out my um, fishing for bluefish with a float uh, video that I did, I think it's two videos back, um, you'll see on a couple of those that they hit it really good, but I didn't get the fish. So I'm thinking that maybe that mullet was covering too much of the hook, <coughs> excuse me. And so because I cannot shrink the size of the fish, I can increase the size of the hook a bit, so that's what I'm doing there. So stay tuned to see how that works. I'm bringing back the fish bag. Um, if you've been with me for a while, um, in one of my earlier videos, way earlier this year, one of my sheep's head videos, or it might have even been last year, fishing with sheep's head, um, I actually was working with a, a laundry bag of, of sorts, and really, uh, this is actually like a nice little live well. Tie a string to it, put it on the edge of the water, and keep your fish alive. And the reason I'd be doing that, if you remember from my fishing uh, for bluefish with a float video, I did catch my limit, you know, so if I happen to get lucky by uh, one of these days coming up, I'll have them all alive in the bag, and if I need to swap out a smaller one for a bigger one potentially, then I'd be able to do that, you know, and uh, fish would be able to go back nice and healthy. So uh, stay tuned to see how that goes. And also in my bag, I have some uh, jig heads. You know, these are, you know, what I'm going to work the the gulp baits up on and um, you know so we'll be working that as well so more to come all right now I also picked up some more gulp baits um, if you watch my last video uh, fishing for flounder with gulp bait um, you'll realize that I had probably three four or maybe more of these gulp baits actually mutilated by the fish the last time I was out so um, got some more um, didn't actually have the same color um, as what I got last time so I did actually go with one here this one is actually called molting and um, I don't know if you can see that color there real good but it's actually gray but uh, in that tail it has almost like a bluish purple little twinge uh, which I think is nice um, a good friend of mine that is a much better artificial fisherman than I um, actually says that he likes some purple um, in his um, lures and grubs and baits like this so um, I'm taking his advice and I'll be throwing this. All right, so stay tuned to see how that goes. Um, and this is uh, three inches and eight centimeters um, for these. And there's six in a pack, so giving myself a chance to get bitten off a couple of times. Uh, and as always, thank you for stopping by OD5. Again, I know you could be anywhere on YouTube, so I really am glad that you're here. 